So hello guys, what is up and uh, welcome to another video. So in today's video, I want to show you guys how to create this really cool looking ink transition. This isn't actually mine, you know, I didn't come up with it or anything. It was actually inspired by another famous filmmaker that goes by the name of Nino Alanga. And he's pretty much up there when it comes to filmmaking. So he's a huge inspiration of mine. And, you know, I like to recreate things and, you know, put things together. So that life becomes easier for you guys when it comes to editing. So, you know, to make this transition work, I'm going to show you guys how it's done. But like before we get into the deep stuff, um, I just want to show you guys what it looks like. And um, if you like it, keep watching. So yeah, here goes. So well, I hope you enjoyed that little sequence there. So in order to get this transition, you have to use ink overlays. And what I've done is that I've kind of put them all together in one file and you'll find the link in the description below. So what you guys can do is download it and then um, we'll jump onto Premiere Pro and I'll show you guys how to do it. So once you've downloaded a file, you should expect two MP4 files, one that gives out a hard ink transition, one that gives out a soft ink looking transition. So um. So yeah, so once you've got those ready, let's jump onto Premiere Pro. Well, okay, so once you've opened up Premiere Pro, you, so you should have your two clips that you want to transition between. So, so for the sake of this video, I've got my two clips that I took in um, Belgium. Okay, so the way it works is you're going to need to use three layers. So there's V1, V2, and V3. So what you're going to do is arrange your first clip on V2. And, and the clip that you want to transition to next place that on V1. V3 is going to be where you're going to place your ink transition. So I'm just going to grab that real quick. So I'm going to go for a hard ink looking transition, but we can try them out both, see how they look. So that's both of them right there. So I'm going to start off with the hard ink transition. So, so what you're going to want to do is position it right at the end of the clip, just so that it's well aligned, as you can see from there, it's pretty well aligned. Perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to go on to effects and type in track mat and just drag and drop that onto your first clip and it should look something like this. So under the uh, mat drop down menu, you'd want to select video three, which is where um, the ink overlay is. So once you've got that, you go on to the composite using and select matte luma and hit reverse and it should look something like this and that dark background is where your next clip pretty much comes in so just align it with it so what you're going to do next is just drag your second clip and just align it with it and then it just goes like this let's play it And you could pretty much do the same for the um, soft ink as well. So let's try the soft ink as well. That's the soft ink. Because if you go under your first clip again and you go under the track matte effect, you can see it's still in the video three matte luma and make sure it's on reverse. You could pretty much do this as many times as you want. Just to prevent your timeline from getting too packed, you'd want to nest the whole sequence and just pretty much go on to um, and just and, and then pretty much just use your next clips just to transition between them just for the sake of keeping it organized um, so yeah so I guess that just sums it up well I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial and it's been of some benefit to you guys um, also I just want to say thank you so much for the endless support that I've received I managed to hit 100 subs which is like a milestone for me because um, you know like my plan was to hit 100 subs by the end of the year and you guys have made it possible for me, so thank you so much. So yeah, so I'm just going to wrap up the video now, and I'll hopefully catch you guys in my next video.